we got the news live on television and this was reported as you guys see in the thumbnail swerve signed his actual contract on tv and this wasn't a work this actually happened on tv it was the real thing bro contract and uh I'm actually happy for Swerve. That's the guy who deserves it. Got it out the mud. Lost his job with WWE. I believe his contract. Did his contract run out or did he get released, Kenny? Correct me if I'm uh, wrong. In WWE, he got released. Okay. They let Hit Row go. Yep. So WWE basically fired him. And my boy became AEW champion. Was Had a pretty good reign. Made a name for himself. He still got a couple things to work on. But the man is a solidified star, in my opinion. Kenny, how do you feel about this, sir? Swerve has signed with AEW till around 2028. Mm, ah, I didn't even know that. I didn't know that much. I didn't know if his contract was coming to an end or if he was actually signing an extension, but this is an interesting time. Um, um, I like it because if we see what happened at the pay-per-view, he lost the belt. So I'm sure before he signed this contract, Tony Khan told him, like, yo, you dropping the belt tonight or whatever. So, I mean, he wasn't the boo-boo face, like, no, nah, I'm not, you know, yeah. you either let me win this match or I'm not signing the contract. So it looks like there's a um there's there's a plan for Swerve. And AEW does believe in him. When he was released from WWE, he came into AEW and he was kind of like determined to make it. And you can see that with him where Keith Lee came in with him and Keith Lee was kind of like on the fence. Swerve was coming in here with like he was bringing Kevin Gates. He had DJ Who Kid, like a bunch of these big stars. I was like, where does he get these connects from? I believe he had Floyd Mayweather on AEW TV. Yeah. But um, like he was in there trying to bring the eyes, I guess, to himself and to the product. So he was a guy who was actually out here doing it for the company. So I like to see the fact that he's happy in AEW. Obviously, Tony Khan sees his value because he said he was like renegotiating his contract, I guess, to get more. And he had to be happy with what he signed with because I'm sure he could have got a pretty big, uh, big ticket in WWE. Because after he left and went to AEW, he he's the guy who they're pointed out with the contract tampering thing. Yep. Triple H reached out to his people like, yo, could you get out of that contract and come back? He was like, yo, talk to my people about it. Somehow I got back to Tony Khan and... I mean, here we are, but it looks like Swerve is happy that they believe in him. He feels confident and comfortable there with them. So, I mean, I like to see it, even though he dropped the belt. And I think it was a little bit too early. He's had a good run. So I'm sure there's some plans for him. 100%. And when and when you look at Swerve, to me, he's probably the third most important guy on the roster. I mean, to me is Will Ospreay, MJF, and then Swerve. Those are the three right. guys to me. Swerve is the future. The guy's like 32, 33. I know mm -hmm. you and I, we talk a lot about his promos. But, I mean, he's still got a lot of time to get better. And mm -hmm. uh, and he, it's something that he's gotten better. And I think he's finding his character. I like the swag. I like everything he brings in terms of, like, presentation to the ring. Like, he's really himself, bro. And I like that he brings the culture with him. And, and he's made that a thing, like... Not a lot of wrestlers do that, you know what I'm saying? And and not a lot of wrestlers show like how proud they may be, where they come from, whatever the case is. And Swerve constantly does that. So I I, I can no like I can only applaud him for making it this far by being himself and doing what he's doing in AEW. So really looking forward to seeing what he does uh, next. Obviously the hangman thing is looming around because we saw Hangman uh come around in that main event at all in. So I think it is going to be a uh, a very good uh, start for Swerve with his new contract stuff. And I'm sure they're going to put that title back on him at some point. I mean, I can see Hangman getting a title and then Swerve beats him sometime next year at some point. Uh, so I could definitely see stuff like that. Who do you think the title is going to go on next, Kenny? So uh, you mean after Brian Danielson? Yeah. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if Swerve makes it back up to Brian Danielson and actually really? takes it from him. Where are they're going to be in Swerve's hometown at one point? Is that because that's not the final show? Well, I think um, Washington is what Wrestle Dream. Wrestle Dream, yep. Where's Swerve from? Do you know? I don't know where Swerve is from, but uh, I saw some stuff online that said they were going to be in Swerve's hometown for one of these pay-per-views. So I don't know if he takes it off of Brian in that one, or maybe Swerve is just done with the title for now and they, you know, move forward with him and Hangman. So I mean, that's hard to say because we heard another rumor there that um, we won't spoil it. Another guy was supposed to be getting a championship pretty yeah. soon. So I don't know. You know what? I don't know who we get the who we get the belt on next. But one thing you oh, pointed actually, out, Swerve there, is from. Tacoma, Washington as well. Ah, see? So both of them are from Washington. Yep. 
So they could go kind of hometown guy versus hometown guy. I think the crowd is going to kind of side with Brian because he is on his way out. But um, interesting. That's an interesting yeah. matchup if you do it there. I, w- I Personally, I would love to see it. Two hometown guys going against each other it would be a big win for Tacoma. And I think it would be a hell mm-hmm. of a match. Um, I would personally love to see it. I just I don't know if they put that title back on Swerve right away. I, I kind of see Hangman going and and winning it but i also wouldn't mind swerve kind of you know doing uh kind of swerve winning the match and and brian danison doing a job for him because i do think that swerve like i said he's the third most important guy in the company and he can even go higher i mean i think that he has all the assets to be the yeah. absolute best the company has to offer and the and the complete face of it because when i look yeah. at the faces between mjf and osprey for me uh right now because i just feel like osprey has been like just he's been wonderfully booked you know what i'm saying and 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 he also does like his matches he also like does favors for himself because he's such a good wrestler as well because the machine can only be so like behind you like if you can't back that up bro you know what i'm saying it's like you're not going anywhere you know so people might not like it but i mean that's what we saw with roman reigns in the beginning yeah like the machine was behind him but he just didn't have all things together there with the big dog gimmick and you know what you could say it's because of what they was giving him but he wasn't breaking through on his own either but we see what he's doing now and that's kind of got him like they don't even got to do nothing he can just go out there on his own and he can make it work but um with swerve i will say well i i agree he's one of those guys in the top three will osprey i feel like when he's out there, that's a guy who can be there, John Cena. I do agree. If they get behind him, he can really go crazy. But um, I, one thing I wanted to point out that you said earlier was you said the top three guys, MJF, Will Ospreay, and Swerve Strickland. Yeah. These are three guys that AEW made. While 100%. Swerve Strickland was in WWE. Uh, well, I don't know about, Will, I don't know about Will Ospreay being made by AEW. I mean, to an American audience, I had no idea who Will Ospreay was. Well, I knew who he was, but I didn't care I, about I guess him. you can say he they made him more known, but I think that a lot of people kind of had that knowledge, too. Yeah, I mean, you're right as far as knowing who he is, but, like, I didn't know he could cut a promo. Like, we, where did we go? Um, 100%. There was one time. Right? There, yeah, there was one time that I was like, oh, this guy can cut a promo. Like, WWE, like, it's must business. have been buzzing after that because – they're so big on promos and stories, and mm-hmm. you just lost out on a guy who can wrestle his complete ass off, but at the same time, cut such a passionate promo. That's something very rare. It's either you're good at one or bad at the other. So Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm saying, like, the, for people in my position, like, because I knew Will Ospreay, just like Zack Sabre Jr., right now, I don't care about him. But if he came to AEW and had a run like Will Ospreay's having, I would actually care about him. But we went out to big business, and when he went in there and cut that promo, I was like, wait a minute, this guy can cut a promo? And he was going crazy in there. And ever since then, I wanted to see what he was doing. I was invested because he can tell a story. He can wrestle in the ring. Just has the full package. So, I mean, he's got more than John Cena has. He can cut the promo. John Cena cuts a better promo, of course. But mm-hmm. in ring, John in Cena's ring. not working like Will Ospreay. In, in ring is, is the WWE style, too. I still don't think John Cena would oh, have no, ever bro. been John able Cena. to keep up with AEW style. Oh. But John Cena had the five moves to do him, and that's all that brother needed. That's all he needed. <laughs> so, hey, maybe that means he's better because that's all he needed. Yeah. But, um, oh, yeah, one other thing I wanted to let you guys know before we get out of here. Y'all got to relax. Do y'all see this? Yeah. Do you I, see this, Brian? I do agree, brother. This is uh this is yeah, this is that's ridiculous, man. I I was I was not happy about seeing that at all. But um people have their narratives and I mean just another thing Swerve Strickland's gonna have to deal with, but you know what? I'll be honest, bro, nobody wants to hear it, but people are not used to seeing a black man on top. And that's just what it is, oh. especially, especially pause, you know what I'm saying? But especially in the wrestling business, bro, WWE has conditioned us to, you know, champions right. that, you know, are not of color. And it's like an odd thing for a lot of people when they see, you know, swerve in AEW as a champion, which it shouldn't be a difference, bro. To me, it should never be a difference. But that's just the cards that, you know, cards these wrestlers WWE are dealt with. Them. Yep, exactly. But I'm glad you, um, Vince McMahon at least got Kofi Kingston and Bobby Lashley in there before he got out. So yeah, just a so Brock Lesnar could come out Vince, and, and, and take him out. Pull it down. <laughs> yeah, P.O.P. But we going to catch y'all, man.